Okay, so we'll just um, bring over this uh, vise and uh, go ahead and mount the cartridge in here. Tighten it down. Let's see here. Uh, looks like uh, that'll probably. Now let's go a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Needle is held in there with a nut. Part though. This looks like it's got some sort of piece of, uh, of insulating material on the end. that out. See this is the this is the salt. Apparently it's like a crystal I imagine. It's some sort of uh, crystalline structure made out of, of salt as I understand it of some sort. So when the needle vibrates the crystal it generates an electrical impulse or elect electricity and that uh, is picked up by these uh, electrodes that are, are here all right, so now we're going to clean all this material out of here because we don't need it. And that's what we're going to use to um, to uh, glue down our new cartridge. Get a Kleenex. We're going to use these, this body here, remounted in after I glue in the uh, the cartridge, the new cart, the new cartridge in its place. Clean this all up. So the uh, cartridge should fit, is going to fit right back in here, just exactly like uh, it was mounted, and it sure does. Uh, would be nice, and it almost looks like the thing was designed to fit exactly, I mean it just fits like a little baby in its cradle like this, but
But by doing so, if I did mount it like that, it, the needle is supposed to be way up here by uh, about a half inch further up in the tone arm. So having it riding back far like that, uh, I don't think that's going to work. In fact, all the pictures and stuff that I've seen uh, says that uh, it needs to be up further in the mount. So in order to do that, I have to cut off the top part of this here and then um, mount this like further up in there with the glue. So in order to do that, we'll have to cut the uh, end of this off and I'm going to use a Dremel and we'll see how that works. And uh, we get the Dremel right here. And Take a look at that. I might need to do some more trimming here. Yeah. I'll have to trim that ridge out yet. Maybe with a file. And uh, see if that's going to be enough room for our cartridge. Yeah. If I just trim that out a little bit more. Actually, it's still... Well, it's seeding down there pretty good. I might have to file it a little bit to clean it up a little bit to make it um, going to fit correctly. Fits pretty good, actually. Okay. So I'll clean that up now. mounting there and then cartridge will go in there about right there okay you might have more nimble fingers than me if you were doing this at home Okay, you don't want to cross the thread, so just be careful that you get it started properly. There we go. There we go. Nice and tight. Feels good. I'll get my super glue, or my epoxy actually. Okay, here we go. Let's see, 90 second. Oh, that's too fast. Uh, oh, three to four hours. Oh, too, too slow. Five minutes. Oh, perfect. That's what we want. All right, let's mix it up. Let's get some out here. Equal parts. Along this back side here. So I'm going to put some on that part there. And probably up on these sides too would be good. A 
Let's see how it feels. Yeah, that feels right. Fits on there just beautifully. Great. So, I'm going to let that set and come back to this. Okay, it's been about 35 minutes or so. Let's see how good and set. Oh, yeah. Pretty sticky. Pretty solid. And, um,. Forgot to mention too that when you do glue that to take a look down on this angle and uh, make sure that the that it's sitting exactly straight because when I first put it on it was a little cockeyed so you just have to kind of eyeball it as straight as you possibly can. So that is in there really good and solid. So now is a matter of uh, I can take it off uh, so I can uh, get to these uh, connections and make these uh, solder these connections.